Hey, Rude Dog here. It's uh, Thursday. And uh, since I'm not working, I decided to take my, tire, my truck over to uh, Tucker Tire Service in Covina, California. They do really good work, knowledgeable installers and salespeople, but they're always busy. That's the only reason why I haven't gone down there, because I haven't had the time. So now that I got the time, I went down there and they had these balanced and they balanced them right. I told them my situation, they said, well, we'll check them out. Okay, they were all out of balance. And I just had them balanced Saturday over at Industry Tire. So I figured something like that, because I watch these guys over at Industry Tire. Uh, so he suggested if I wanted a real good balance to dynamic balance them. And I'm like, hey, I'm all for that. Back to Tucker Tire. Tucker Tire went ahead and dynamic balanced them, and they all balanced out pretty good, pretty well, except for the right rear, okay? Whereas these tires here, this one here is taking four and a half ounces on the outside. I can't read the, the weights on the inside, but they look like another four ounces on the, on the inside. That's not too bad. And I, that looks like average on them. This one over here is taking uh, That one's four and a half, I think. Big weight and a little weight. And they're marked on there two, two and a half. So that's not too bad, okay? Damn little dog. The right rear was taking eight ounces on one side and nine on the back side. And I go, you know what? <clears throat> he said he'd balance it, but he's just let me know. I mean, actually, actually, these guys actually worked with me while we were balancing these things together here, you know? They were showing me their Hunter balancer. Really nice machine. It's got the Road Force uh, balancer uh, thing for it. But um, So on that right rear, I suspected that's the problem. So what I'm going to do... Now this is just what I want to do, okay? Is I want to replace that wheel, that tire. I'm gonna get a new one and just save that old one for the spare. That's why I got five matching tires. You know, that one's not gonna be bad. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's just taking too much weight. And being that they're two years old, I mean, I do have my receipt for them. Um, yeah. I'm like, why not? Just put a new tire on there. Okay, my issue now is getting a new tire. They discontinued this style. So that means um, I can't find one to match. I'm searching. I'm searching. We'll see what happens. Okay. We'll see what happens. All right. They got the wheels off the truck. Let's see if they're out of whack or not. That's the first thing I told them. I told them I just had them balanced Saturday at Industry Tire. Let's see if they're... Maybe their machine's out of whack, or maybe their installer's out of whack, you know? That's a camera. All right, so I'm inside the Tucker Tire waiting room here, and uh, these guys are doing exactly what I told the first shop to do over at Wheel Warehouse, you know? Dynamic belts, but if you have to, you put the weights on the outside and the inside of the wheel, you know? Front and back. So today these guys are doing it right. I don't care if it has a few weights on the outside of the rim, you know, the outside and the back side. As long as it's balanced. If the best balance you can get is a dynamic balance. Okay. So that's what they're doing. These are tire guys. These guys, I mean, I, I bought my first set of wheels and tires for the Bronco here. And these same guys are still working here. So family run business, excellent service. They know what they're talking about. I mean, you can't beat that. Uh, the only reason why they come here in the first place because they're always busy and I'm always in a rush. And now that I got time, I'm not working. I've got to take care of business. That's business number one.
Hey, while the truck's up on jacks, you can check out the exhaust. See that one pipe there? I cut a little too close to the gas tank. It's close. It might work. It works. I haven't heard anything hitting yet. I gotta fix a hanger on that. Alright. So he's balancing the last tire, the right rear, passenger side rear. And that one's taking a lot of weight. That one has been a problem in the past. That's the one that blew the rear axle seal out after I took it to uh, industry tire and, and they didn't get the balance right. It was shaking so bad. By the time I got back from the desert, the axle was leaking oil out the seal there. Just from that vibration all the way home for two hour drive, you know? So, uh, so, he's going to give it a spin. In other words, he's going to break it down off the wheel, bust the bead, and spin it on the rim 180 degrees. And see how that works. See, most tire shops have no idea what I'm talking about when I tell them, hey, why don't you spin it on the wheel? Bust the tire down, give it a turn, air it back up, put it on the balancer and see if that helps. You know, you could have a heavy spot in the wheel itself. Combine that with a heavy spot in the tire and you're gonna have a, can give you a problem. So, so uh, yeah, we'll see how this works out. Hopefully it works out good. And this should be my last time. So, I recommend these guys. Always a good shop, fast service. Very busy. Always very busy. A professional tire shop here in the city of Covina. All right, so I'm back from the tire shop. Um, as you can see, they put weights on the outside and inside of the wheels. Um, they were able to balance all of them, except the right rear, the right rear, um, yeah, passenger side. I mean, he balanced it, but it took an awful lot of weight. It took like, a, he was calling for like eight ounces on one side and nine on the other. So I figured, well, there's my problem right there. So now I'm looking for a replacement tire. I'm looking for 3515 Cooper STT. And from what they told me there at the tire shop, they don't make them anymore. They've been replaced by the Cooper Pro STs. So I'm like, well, now what am I going to do? You know, of course, the guy tried to sell me four new tires. <laughs> I told him I'm about gonna just just put it back on the truck. We'll balance them, and if I can't find a replacement, I'll uh, I'll do something. So I'm gonna go online right now and look for a replacement tire. There's got to be one out there somewhere, right? And then I'll just use that one for the spare. So that's what's going on there.